In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Nutella coffee cake. This is a very simple recipe that's easy to follow and requires minimum equipment. We are going to start by melting our butter. Butter goes in the pot. And boom! Magic! Now let's mix the butter with the sugar. In goes the sugar. Sugar! There it is! You don't have to wait for your butter to cool down. You can use it straight off the stove top. Now let's add some eggs. It helps to break your eggs into a separate bowl in case you have any shells that fall in there. It's a lot easier to fish it out from a separate bowl than your bowl with sugar and butter. Let's mix that really well. Next up, we are adding our dry ingredients. So flour, baking powder, and baking soda will go in in three additions alternating with sour cream. You want to add them in separate additions to make sure that every ingredient gets incorporated properly and gets mixed really well and evenly. Mix, mix, mix. Make sure there's no more flour lumps. Add the sour cream. Add some more dry ingredients. Mix, mix, mix. Now let's add the rest of the sour cream. Mix that up and then add the rest of the dry ingredients. At this point, our coffee cake mix is ready to go. And if you don't like Nutella, you can add dried fruit, nuts, chocolate chips, whatever you like. I am going to use a 10 inch paper pan. Feel free to use whatever size container or pan that you have. So half the batter goes in the pan. Let's smooth it out a little bit. Um, add Nutella on top. If you microwave Nutella for a minute or so, um, it becomes very easy to spread. Or very spreadable. What's the right way to say it? And then the rest of the batter goes right on top. Now this is ready to go and all we have left to do is make the topping. Brown sugar, some oats, a little bit of flour, some melted butter, mix it all together. I try to mix it with a spoon but that was taking too long so I decided to mix it by hand. It's a lot faster. Once you don't see the flour anymore, it's ready to go. So that goes directly on top of the cake. And then the oven it goes. Uh, you want to preheat your oven at 325 and it will take about an hour, maybe hour and a quarter to bake depending on your oven and the size of your pan. To see if your cake is ready, uh, you want to stick a toothpick or in this case a chopstick and if it comes out clean it's ready. Obviously the chopstick was not clean. Let's try it again. And it looks nice and dry. The cake is ready to go. And that's it. Our coffee cake is ready to enjoy. 
feel free to subscribe. I will be posting more easy to follow recipes that don't require any special baker's equipment. And I hope you enjoy.